and let your guard down, all right? Better safe than sorry. I'll keep that in mind. Well, if that's not why you've paid us a visit, then why have you come here? Is it more of a playdate? No, no, Melee. Of all things, they wouldn't just come here to play. Actually, yes, that's exactly it. Seriously? Although, I think calling it a play date is rather misleading. You went to the trouble of visiting us yesterday, but we had to cut it short so Mel could say her daily prayer, remember? She felt so bad about that. I wanted to talk to you some more, Miss Amelia, so I pestered Tiga into allowing me to visit you today. So that's why you came to see her. You're more than welcome, but... Right. I apologize, but to tell the truth, I've been summoned to the royal castle today. Ah, by the Council of Wise Men? Yes, so I need to get going soon. I'm so sorry, you went out of your way to come here. N no I'm the one who's sorry! This is divine retribution for barging in on someone without asking first. The heavens must be quite prepared to so readily hand out punishment. I'd hate to live under a heaven that punishes you for trying to be thoughtful. Regardless, I do see that this was bad timing. Are you all going to accompany Miss Amelia then? No, only Miss Amelia and Lord Roswell will be heading to the royal castle. Brem and everyone else have another matter to tend to. Oh? Something of higher priority than escorting Miss Amelia to the royal castle? I don't like the way you said that. There's a method to our madness. And it might just benefit the entire royal capital. Everyone in the royal capital, you say? Sounds interesting. Do you mind telling us? Hmm, huh, let's see. Should I, Melee? I don't think there's any reason we should keep quiet about it. You're not the type to keep secrets from your friends anyway, right, Subaru? Alright, then with Melee's permission... Tiga? Huh? What's up? Seeing as you came here with Melty, I assume you have time to spare today. I wouldn't say I have spare time, don't have any plans for now. Escorting Mel is my main duty. That's perfect. Then do you want to join in? Join in? Um, in what? It'd be troubling if you were suckering us into something dubious like gambling. I'm a deeply devout man, allegedly. Devout people wouldn't say that. Anyway, it's rather simple. We might have a way to take out the Dusk Bandits. We were supposed to meet here. Mr. Natsuki, over here! Ah. Over here! So, how did it go? Hey, morning to you too. I had a good dream last night. I see. That's great to hear. So, how did the business offer turn out? Right, I'll introduce you. You met Rem yesterday, but this is her sister Rom. Huh? Oh, yes, hello. No, wait, but before that... Sure is some nice weather today. Definitely a good day for a picnic. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Is it that fun pushing my buttons? I feel like I was born for this. <laughs> Don't make me say something like that. It's so embarrassing. That really is embarrassing. What a sad life. <sighs> you are so noisy with your complaints. Well, Barusu, what exactly is this? Don't treat him like a thing. This guy's the key to everything. He's a traitor. His name's Otto. As of yesterday, he's on the verge of bankruptcy. In other words, he is a merchant who lacks talent for the trade. You sisters are so harsh! It may sound like I'm making excuses, but I have confidence in my skills! I just... I just had a bit of bad luck. Nobody blames everything on bad luck as passionately as this guy. Anyway, that's enough of my sob story. Mr. Natsuki, what about our promise? Yeah, I know. I was just messing with you a bit. Here, 
This is the contract. Roswell's signature is right there. Whoa! I'll read it over at once! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Th there's no mistake. This is the real deal! I've done it! I finally sold off all that oil! All that's left is to deliver it to the manor. Now then, that settles that matter. Whew. Yes, thank you for your patronage. You really saved me. I owe you my life, Mr. Natsuki. Your real savior is Lord Roswell. After all, he is the one who is paying you. Well, I'd be happier if your debt of gratitude was toward Mealy, not me. Also... Ah, yes, I know! What you requested yesterday! You kept your promise to buy my oil, so I'll keep my end of the bargain as well. With that said... Excuse me! Over here! Mr. Otto, are they the ones? Yes, they're the ones I mentioned. You require an escort, right? That's... well, yes, that's true. But... I apologize for sounding rude, but I wasn't looking for servants. Whoa, hang on. I get why you're so hesitant, but there's nothing to worry about. It's true that these two maids are highly skilled with housework, but they don't just cook and clean. Underneath those maid outfits, they're all-purpose sisters who guard over the manor. I... I see. I do not agree with how Barisu phrased it, but I cannot say he is in the wrong. Yes, we will strive to meet Subaru's... no, your expectations. I also take responsibility for recommending them. I think they'll serve you well. Do you have any proof of that? Go ahead and tell him yourself, Mr. Natsuki. Yeah, it's simple, really. We won't be the only ones guarding you. Some who can really hold their own will be joining us. I can vouch for their expertise. Oh, you're already here, Subaru. Yeah, we were waiting for you. You didn't get lost along the way, did you? Don't worry, I'm not a child. Besides, your friend kind of stands out. Friend... He is referring to me, of course. <sighs> so you're here too, Julius. That's quite the greeting. Miss Anastasia commanded me to be here, so how could I refuse? Well, I guess since you're here, you better give it your all. That is what I intend on doing. Miss Anastasia will be rather pleased if we manage to settle everything today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Natsuki, are they...? That's right, they're our extra protection today. As you can tell, they've got some skills. <laughs> I am sure I will be of some use to you. If the finest is only of some use, I won't be much more help. Don't worry, you're way more help than me. I don't even have a sword. Is that supposed to inspire me? Don't look so dejected. You said you'd help, but I start to worry when you look like that. Well, what little power I have, I intend on using. If the Dusk Bandits should appear, we can't just ignore them. I see, I see. Then I have high hopes. Uh, by the way, what about Melty? How did you convince her to stay behind? Well... It was pretty careless of me to bring up something so serious at the inn, after all. I feel bad for tearing you away from her, but what did you say? She was incredibly persistent about wanting to help out. Even I could feel the pressure. It... yes, about that. I'm sorry if she alarmed you. Well, I get how she feels. I have trouble stopping Melee when she gets like that, too. So... I'm sorry I'm late! Huh? 
It took a while to prepare, but I'm totally ready now. Wait, wait, what? Melty? Subaru, what is the meaning of this? Explain yourself. I'm the one who's confused here. Does this shocked face look like an act to you? Hey, Tiga, what's going on here? You said it yourself. It's hard to talk Miss Amelia out of something when she sets her mind to it. My Mel is the same way. That's no excuse. Taking Melty along with us is totally not okay. Calm down, Subaru. How can I calm down? Say something about this! I understand how you feel, but don't cause such a ruckus. Miss Melty is still just an ordinary person. What? With the royal selection postponed, the royal candidates have yet to be revealed to the public. If word of this spreads, anyone with reprehensible intentions may come out of the woodwork. For instance, that man in the mask. I see. Your face may get on my nerves, but you make a really good point. Ignoring your former remark, I am glad you understand. Now all that's left is... Right. We have to convince Melty ourselves. It seems Tiga's pretty useless in that regard. I apologize. It's my responsibility as the one who asked you here. Melty, I have something to talk to... I'm Melty, one of those helping you out today. I'll do my best not to cause any trouble. Oh, uh, yes. No, no. Not at all. I'd like to say the same to you. I'm much obliged. <laughs> yes, I look forward to working together. <sighs> He's hopeless. The way Melty is liked by everyone is what makes her so adorable. Goodness. It seems this journey won't be easy. I'll do my very best not to hold you back. I'm excited to work with everyone. Yes, likewise. We will be counting on you, since you specialize in healing magic. <laughs> I'm still no match compared to more experienced healers, though. There is no need for such modesty. The men will surely act as meat shields for us. Meat shields? That sounds powerful! No, they will be sacrificed to save us. We're going to sacrifice them? <laughs> On the other hand... Hmm? What is it? Is something bothering you? Not really. Just realizing that I don't enjoy being surrounded by a bunch of good-looking guys. Oh, is that a compliment? It seems Subaru is praising us by calling us handsome. I would prefer to be evaluated by my swordsmanship or knightly conduct. But I appreciate this as well. It seems even you are capable of honest praise. Don't put words in my mouth! To make the lottery a reality, we will need the required assets, an understanding of its mechanisms, and implement it on a grand scale. If we can borrow the influence of a caravan, it'll be possible to get everything up and running. That'll help move things along really quick! Otto may look like an ordinary guy, but he's the one who can hook us up with a caravan! You didn't need to add the part about me being ordinary. Besides, there is something else, Mr. Natsuki. Something I need fulfilled. I know, I know. The oil, right? I'll talk to Roswell about that. So... I'll recommend your group as guards to an acquaintance of mine trying to link back up with the caravan. That much I understand. 
much thorough preparations. Mm, unless... Has luck played a hand in this too? How amusing, Natsuki. In that case... Julius, can I ask a favor? Whatever you wish, Miss Anastasia. Then, tomorrow, can you accompany Natsuki and go to the caravan? I'd hate to just leave everything to him, only for negotiations to fall through. What? Him? But, Anastasia, that's... No, this matter is settled. You wish for us to be allies, right? Then what better time than now to start getting along with one another? Then I will be seeing you tomorrow. Not to worry, I am reluctant about this as well. Hey, don't fight! What is it? You've been staring at me for a while. Nothing. I'm totally not thinking about how if you weren't here, Melty, Tika, and I would have had a fun picnic together. It seems to me you just admitted to thinking exactly that. Come on, Subaru. Just accept the reality of the situation and grow up. He's cooperating with us, but you're being rude to him. Are you really taking his side? This is a serious problem. What exactly did you do to him, Julius? Sorry, I have no idea. I don't remember doing anything to him that would make him react with such hostility toward me. But I won't forget. That time you slobbered all over Mealy's pure hand. He's making some pretty disgraceful claims about you. He can say what he wants. I say to compare our usual behavior and determine whether his nonsense is believable or not. <sighs> you think you're so cool. But he is cool. Just accept your loss here, Subaru. You'd go that far just to win, huh? As the victor, I will brush aside that comment. Regardless, she is quite the mystery. <coughs> Do you mean Melty? What's so mysterious about her? I think the other candidates are way more eccentric. Melty is much more soothing to the soul. Melee is extraordinarily cute. But Melty is a solid runner-up. Well now, that'll be good to keep in the back of my mind. Next time we meet, I'll be sure to report that to Miss Amelia. Don't tell her that! You reflect on that while we get back to the topic at hand. Miss Melty is quite the enigma. Like Subaru, I must also ask what you mean by that. I'm curious to hear the finest evaluation of my Mel. It is how she carries herself, and the aura she has about her. Of course, I believe her being a nun from the Transcendent Dragon Church is part of that. She's easy to approach, and her tone of voice and articulation. Both are pure, and seem to be learned traits. At the very least, one is not born with such skills. <sighs> I don't get it. What exactly are you trying to say? It is quite draining to lecture a bad student, but... I mean that Miss Melty's very being is somewhat irregular. Like a bird that normally cannot swim, but learned through grueling effort. I feel like your beliefs are obscured by that poetic tongue of yours. Bird that learned how to swim. 
Do you mean she's a hard worker? Hmm, more or less. There's no mistaking that. Miss Melty must have made strenuous efforts to get to where she is today. That's it? Why didn't you say that from the start? You're always so cryptic about these things. It's a nasty habit of mine. I'll try to be more direct next time. Yeah, you should. Hey, Tiga, you okay? Huh? You've been quiet for a while. Was his analysis so off the mark you were struck speechless? Even if he did think as much, asking such a thing so openly in front of me is quite rude, is it not? Ha! <laughs> what a sore loser! My, you're a troublesome one. <sighs> Off the mark? Not at all. I guess he is not the finest for nothing. Tiga? Did you just say something? No, nothing. I just hope nothing happens along the way. Yeah, that'd be nice. Although we can't say for sure just yet. Don't. I won't be able to sleep at night. Are you okay, Subaru? Oh, sorry. My bad. Did I have a scary look on my face? Um, no, not at all. You're not scary, not one bit. Nope. It's not very convincing. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. No, no, it's fine. More importantly, how are you holding up, Melty? Suddenly joining us like this. I appreciate your concern, but I decided to do this myself. I wanted to help out. You're pretty brave, Melty, but you're a nun. Escorting a traitor isn't part of your duties, right? Uh, that's not actually the case. I visit other churches all over the place, so I travel quite a lot. Ah, no wonder. You seem pretty used to all this wandering around. Huh? Really? What makes you think that? Well, you don't have a lot of luggage. My first impression was that you'd be dragging around a bunch of unnecessary crap. You had the wrong idea. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, you're used to traveling, huh? Have you ever been outside Lagunica? Yes, I have. My hometown isn't actually part of the Kingdom of Lagunica. Wait, you're not from around here? That's right. Ah, I wasn't supposed to say that. Really? Well, I guess being a foreigner does hurt your chances as a royal candidate. Uh, um, Subaru? About what I just said? Hmm. Now, what to do with this info? S Subaru! <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Don't worry, it'll be our little secret. I yes, thank you very much. Phew, what a relief. But can I ask you something? Where exactly are you from, Melty? Uh, we're... from Faradar. Faradar? It's very far south from here. That's where I lived with my family.
So soft. Score! I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Hey, Subaru! Get away from Mel! Also... We've stopped all of a sudden. There's no mistake something's happened. Could it be bandits? In that case, sister... Yes, I know. I shall take a look, so stay quiet for now. Also die, Barusu. No, wait! I'm sorry! The caravan ahead of our dragon carriage is being attacked. Is that... The Dusk Bandits! <laughs> you should have been more careful than to camp around here! Go, go, go! Steal, steal, steal! It's been too long. This ain't nearly enough to satisfy us! <laughs> Stop, please! Yeah, scream! Run away! I'll never get tired of this! Wait! What? Please wait. I'll give you whatever you want, without resistance. So please, don't kill anyone. We won't resist in any way. Quit your whining! Won't put up a fight? What a choke! You can't resist us! You can't do anything! You're not in charge here anymore! Your lives, business, belongings, everything! We'll do whatever we damn well please with it! That's what it means to have power! <sighs> please don't! Pathetic. You really are weak. I can't watch this anymore. Guys, put him out of his misery! <laughs> it's nothing personal. 